yeah welcome you guys back to my channel it's genius graphics today in today's tutorial you guys will be learning how i create how to create a product manipulation on pixel lab so let's start the tutorial immediately so firstly i will move to my main page yeah so after that i'm going to change my background size to 1080 by 1080 pixels yeah okay so now i'm going to add from my gallery so i have the resources downloaded so i will move to my downloads select the resources so firstly i'm going to import this table over here can you see so i'm going to select it after that i'm going to reduce the table height then i'll mark it now i will move to my relative size then i'm going to increase that yeah so now i will lock my layer yeah so that's okay like that so my background i'm going to change that to transparent yeah to transparent so now i will add from my gallery the product image so i'm going to import it then i'm going to reduce the size then i'll place it on the table yeah so now let me increase the size a little bit i think you can see this now so let's lock the layer also now i want to create some realistic shadow to it so just duplicate this can you see that then move to your opacity yeah so the next thing i will move to my shadow i will activate it then now i will select a transparent black can you see where i selected this place this place over here so i'm going to reduce that okay so my blur radius it will be seven yeah seven is okay so now I will move to my perspective perspective then you activate it so let's create our shadow i'm going to make sure everything suits each other so we don't have mistake over here yeah so let's just this then this also yeah so now the shadow i'm going to bring that to back yeah so that's okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to create a real shadow that's going to be under the can so i'm going to use my circle then reduce the height can you see yes so now i will move to my opacity one more time i will reduce it then my shadow i will activate it so i'm going to select the black color yeah then i'm going to reduce the blur radius to six so let's move this down here so move this up i think you can see that so let's just increase our shadow height so now my shadow is too is too dark so you have to reduce the darkness so let's select the more darker black yeah i think this is okay so just move that down a little bit 
Yeah. So let's move it down. Then now move to your shadow. Place your blood radius. Yeah. We have our realistic shadow under it. So let's lock the layer also. The next thing I will be importing is my lemon. So I'm going to import the lemon. Yeah, this is it. I'm going to place it at the front of the product. Can you see that? Yeah. So now, the next thing I'll be doing is to save this project as image. We are going to save as image. Can you see? So, you select this place. I'm going to select very high. Then, save to your gallery. So after that, I'm going to move to my PS Touch. Here we are. So first thing, I'm going to import the background I'm going to use for the project. So I have it in my downloads. Yeah, this is it. So I'm going to select it. Then, I will move here. And you see? Now press crop image. Yeah, so now I will change the size to 1080 by 1080 pixels. Yeah, so let's adjust it. Yeah, I prefer this side, so I mark it. So let's move to my transform then I'm going to increase the image size then I will mark it yeah so the next thing you move to your Gaussian FX the effect then select Gaussian plot you see so now I'm going to reduce my plot to something like 5 or let's say 7 yeah 7 is okay so you are going to mark it can you see so now I'm going to import the image we saved. Yeah, so I'm going to select the image. This is it. Yeah, you see? We have it here. So we are just going to mark it. I think you can see what we did. So now I'm going to add a lens flare for my gallery. So I have it in my I think screenshot. Yes, this is it. So now you just move it here. Then you move to your blending mode. You select this place. Then you select this place over here. After that, you now tap on this arrow. Then you select screen. I think you can see that. Yeah. So now I'll move to my transform. So you can place this anywhere you want it to be. So I think I want it to be at this side. Yeah. So it's okay here. Yeah. Can you see that? So after that, you duplicate it. Then you move to your transform. You place another one on the top of this so that it will be like the reflection is not reaching the lemon then you move to your opacity you reduce it i think you can see that yeah so now i'm going to import some leaves so i'll move to my download select some leaf Here we are. So now I'm going to select this. Yeah. Now I'm going to place it over here. I think you can see that. 
just move it out yeah so i'm going to mark it then now you just move it to the back of the lens flare effect yeah so you move to your fx you select gaussian blur then you give that also seven yeah so now our manipulation is ready so you press your done then you save After that, you share that you save to your gallery. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye bye.